Hey, what's up guys? Joker here, and today we have got a, another series of leaks. We've got a benchmark of the 5700 XT compared against the RTX 2070 Super in Final Fantasy XV, and also the RTX Super cards have been leaked, which look uglier than the backside of a dog's ball bag. Cheers. But first, today's video is brought to you by LevelGo.com, where you could save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro for under $16, Microsoft Office 2016 Professional Plus for under $40, and Microsoft Office 2019 for under $80. And if you use my code JSL22 at checkout, you can get 22% off of Windows 10, or use the code JSL16 to get 16% off of any software over on levelgo.com when you use the links down in the description below. So as I said first, we're going to start off with a comparison of the RTX 2070 Super, which as of the current leaks are expected to launch on July 2nd. I do not have these cards for testing. Unfortunately, I will be giving you guys launch day reviews on all the upcoming AMD parts, but for whatever reason, I don't know why, Nvidia has decided to leave me out of their launch of the Super cards. Maybe we'll get some after launch, kind of like I did with the 2060, but, you know, that kind of just remains to be seen at this point. But thankfully, we've got a leak on a Final Fantasy 15 benchmark, which I need to kind of set a precursor for this because this benchmark does heavily, and I do mean heavily, favor NVIDIA. So, you know, kind of take that for what it is because it's showing the 2070 Super with a significant lead over the AMD Radeon 5700 XT. So we'll take a look over here on hothardware.com where you can see this is coming from the benchmark database for Final Fantasy XV. So someone actually ran this benchmark, it went up on the database, and these numbers were compiled. And WCCF Tech actually did a graph for this particular benchmark, and we've got the 2070 Super on there and the 5700 XT. So good job on WCCF for actually doing the work on this. But you can see here the 2070 Super got a score of 7579, while the 5700 XT got a score of 5473. Now, of course, that is a very large disparity between those two numbers right there. But as I said, this benchmark does heavily favor NVIDIA. So you would expect to see AMD trailing behind, but we can still kind of learn some things from this. You can take a look at some other NVIDIA cards and the way that they're testing is, you know, we're looking at the 5700 XT here, and you can see that it's comparing pretty much a negligible difference between it and the 1070 Ti, and the 1080 is actually scoring a little bit better, but again, it favors NVIDIA, so, you know, kind of take from that what you will. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a whole lot we can really learn from this particular benchmark, just this very specific one, um, because of how much it favors NVIDIA, and I, I really can't... You know, you know, say enough how much this benchmark really does favor NVIDIA. This, there's been so many videos on this um, from the like of Gamers Nexus and other channels out there about um, the favorability of Final Fantasy XV um, towards NVIDIA. So I wouldn't really say that this card is like, I mean, looking at this right here, it's like 33% better on the 2070 Super. I don't think that's going to be the case. Of course, I can't reveal any information to you guys yet, but I'm just... Even without testing, I'm just saying I wouldn't even think that that is going to be even close to what is likely between the 2070 Super and the 5700 XT. I think these cards are going to be very close, but I do think the 2070 Super is probably going to take the slight edge, although I do think the 2070 and the 5700 XT are going to be very close, but we all kind of know the Super cards are being released pretty much um, to beat the 5700 XT, so I don't really think that's you know too unexpected. But by this particular margin, I don't really think so. But of course, as always, you should really wait for independent testing so you guys can actually see the benchmarks. Of course, I'll be doing side-by-side -side comparisons um, with the new AMD cards and RTX cards, the current RTX cards anyway, not the Super cards, as I don't have them, so I won't be testing any of them at all in my review of the RX 5700 series, or I won't be posting anything on the Super cards when they launch because... I just won't have them, but like I said, I think we're going to only see, I've said this in a previous video, we're probably only going to see like a 5 to 8 percent, 5 to 8 FPS boost in performance, so it's probably not going to be really much at all, nothing really to sing home about, nothing that you couldn't do already with an overclock on a current RTX graphics card from the 2060 all the way up to the 2080. And also we've got a leak concerning a picture of the actual RTX Super graphics card, which as I said at the start, 
I, I mean, I know this is subjective, but come on, it is ugly as dog shit. Seriously, like they took what was otherwise a, a beautiful card. I, you know, of course this is totally subjective, but I thought the RTX cards were gorgeous. I thought they were one of the nicest graphics cards I've ever seen. I thought they were one of the best graphics cards I've ever held in my hands. And I know that doesn't really account for a whole lot in terms of performance or cooling or anything like that. But these cards, if you've ever held an RTX card, they feel super premium in the hand. They're just a solid piece of aluminum and they feel really good. When you hold it when you pull it out of the box it feels like a premium product they look like a premium product and now they've gone ahead and slapped this gigantic super logo right in the middle of the graphics card which feels like it was kind of just squeezed in there it's like it feels so out of place and again this is subjective so i i was like curious whether or not i should even include this but let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on what you think of the RTX Super Graphics cards, but I think seeing the actual physical product versus just, you know, renders and things like that really kind of drives it home is that this is ugly as shit. This is super friggin' ugly. I mean, especially on the on the back side of the card, you've got a beautiful aluminum back plate with the RTX 2060 etched into there and then a big green vomit-esque logo just kind of stuffed in there by the side of it. I. I know looks doesn't really matter that much in terms of graphics cards, of course. It doesn't really matter a whole lot at all for some people unless you're doing a aesthetic build and you want everything to match and all that. But just in terms of looks, I just I just think this is really ugly. Honestly, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to put this in my system just based on the looks alone. But as I said, you know, it's subjective. I know it's just my opinion, and I would be very curious to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments below what you think these RTX super cards look like, you know, you think these look better, worse, or you really don't care really. Honestly, at the end of the day, performance is always going to be the main thing that matters on a graphics card. Looks are just kind of, are very, very, not even secondary. They're like third or fourth dairy. I don't even know if those are words. Maybe that's whiskey talking. Maybe it's not. Who really knows at the end of the day? Let me know your thoughts though down in the comments below. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my week, and I hope you guys do too. And I will catch you guys tomorrow, probably for a, another video. Although the upcoming week is going to be super busy, as there are a ton of product launches. So I'm not too sure how the upload schedule is going to go. We've got the RTX Super Cards um, allegedly coming out on July 2nd pretty much are um also we've got amd launching navi as well as ryzen cpus on the 7th so you can imagine for many review outlets for those at least who have been sampled all of the parts they have a ton of fucking testing to do so i would expect a very sporadic week in terms of uploads from myself as well as other content creators unless they have a bunch of backlog of content to kind of upload to you guys it's probably going to be a pretty slow week uh, for tech videos, so just forewarning you on you guys on that one, but I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here as I said and I'll uh, Catch you eventually maybe tomorrow. Maybe the day after who knows. Uh, I'll catch you eventually. I'm gonna catch you All right, I'm gonna catch them all Pokemon style Tara. <laughs>